Good evening everybody. I'm going to do a quick video here on programming the UV21 <coughs> Cough Cough Pro uh, and then do a quick audio test uh, using that radio and my Baofeng um, BF or UV18H. Now this radio at the minute, the UV21 <coughs> Cough Cough Pro is not yet supported by chip so you have to use the manufacturer software now the manufacturer software looks like it's actually designed for a radio call the u the, the uv15 or the 15 uv by baofan i can't see much information about that radio but apparently it exists now the reason i've got this nasty cough whenever i say uv21 <coughs> <coughs> pro is because from what I've been able to see so far UV21 Pro does not exist it looks like it's just a marketing ploy um, but then again maybe it's just rename re marketing ploys to call it Pro to make it sound better the radio if you look in the back of yours and look in the back of mine is actually UV21R R not Pro now the specs of this radio are exactly the same as the advertised UV21 Pro, but it's not. Anyway, unless you guys have seen an actual UV21 Pro with it written on the back on this serial, then let me know and I'll edit this video to, to men mention that. Okay, so first of all what you need is you need the CPS software which I will put a link in the description as to where you can get it from. Now it's actually a bit of software that was originally available from a Breeze website, not Baofang. Uh, so yeah, anyway make of that what you will. I have installed the software so let's get it running. So here it is. It's called the P15UV CPS. Uh, got your usual bits and bobs in here, but let's get the radio connected because by now you're probably used to doing running their CPS. It will be good if they ever get Baofeng, I mean, if they ever get Chirp to support it. Which hopefully they will, but you never know. So we got a program, communication port. Com port 15, I'm using my, sorry, com port 5, oh my god, why do I do these at night? And we click OK. We then go to the radio. And we turn it off, and then we, doesn't matter if you have it turned off or on on this one, there are a couple I've got which you have to have it turned on before you do it, including the Quan Sheng. So, let's turn that on. Right, now as you see, they've actually labelled this one UV21R. Let's get that focus right. The screen looks a bit weird, but anyway. Um, so, program communication support is COM port 5. Uh, nothing else to do, so I'm going to read from the radio. And as you can see, it says program. And you can't see it very well, but the green light on the top is flashing. It takes a little bit longer than a lot of the radios I have to both read and write. Uh, da, da, da. It's really boring when he's sitting here watching it. Come on. I'm going to put some sort of pop-up on here. <sighs> okay, there we go. So the radio's been read, now it reboots, and it's back. Now that those number ones on there are to do with the test I'm still trying to still setting up with uh, three different radios. But I'm also going to be using these channels tonight, as I say, to do a, a transmit-receive test and a receive-transmit test. Same thing, but from two different radios. Anyway, 
So you've got the frequency ranges, you usually get this. Um, now we have uh, channels. These are all the channels I've inputted already. I need to do that. And as you can see, with this, if you're doing a repeater, you'll do, I don't know, 145.6. And let's say it's uh, it's the repeater, like, uh, transmit frequency is point, uh, 0.6 plus 0.6. Then you add up 0.6 to that. And here you set your um, CTCSSs or DCSs because they're all mixed into the same here. So you've got all the CTCSSs there. And then further down you've got all the, uh, the DCS codes. And same here. CTCSSs. Then you've got the, 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 the DCSs. Wide band, narrow band. Uh, high low, it's only got two power settings, it does not have three. And I've seen a lot of people complaining online about this radio being sold to them as a 10 or 20 watt radio. That's that's poop, to put it politely. It was never sold to me as that. Uh, I got it from uh, one of the, not one of the AliExpress guys, but actually from one of the factories that manufactures it. And all the information they send me um, matches up with the radio and the transmission power that they sold it as is 5 watts on VHF. Whether it reaches that or not, that's going to be in a different in a different video. Uh, you've got your push to talk, so you can uh, you know, um, IDs, you can change that if you want busy lockout. So if, the, so if the channel's busy, then you can't transmit, it just doesn't even let you try. You can add it to the scan list. Uh, signal frequency hopping, which I haven't really looked into yet. You can turn that on. That's basically what you do. That's that's it. So if you use the CPS software, it's pretty much exactly the same as what you're used to using. Uh, so for example, since it's on number one there, I'll just show you. Uh, change this to... Hello! Okay. Uh, looks like it's only allows you, let's have a look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, it allows you six characters. So let's do hello, a big shouty hello. And let's, let's, no, before we save that, let's go to the VFO A. This is what you can set that default one as when you first go into VFO mode. You can set it to whatever, whatever you want again. There's the offset. Now it looks like this is slightly different. In the VFO mode, it gives you the receiving and the offset. Unlike the channel mode in here, where it asks you for the sending and receiving. So it's a bit different. Anyway, and it'll do the same thing for channel B. As you can see, it's switched. So VFO A and VFO B. You can see on the B1, we've got a CTCSS. Um, Anyway, then we go to channel edit. Now, channel edit, as far as I can see, is pretty much the same as channel. But if you go to, let's go to channel edit, and it picks out number one. So it's you can drop all the different channels that you've got, like one, nine. Anyway, let's put it to the one I want, and it just seems to repeat itself over again. So too sure what the point of channel edit is as well as the point as well as having channel as well hmm okay general settings uh, you can put in the preset message the preset logo which is Baofeng uh, preset message which I have is this Hanfam UV21R or you can drop it down and it'll just tell you what the voltage on the battery is the usual bits and bobs as you can see down here. I'm in channel mode instead of frequency mode. You can change that if you want, obviously. I've set <laughs> backlight to bright. Now backlight to bright, bright basically means on all the time. So it doesn't time out after one second, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten seconds. Bright means on. No timeout. Uh, what else have we got here? B1. 
speak tones. Oh, the FM radio can enable it and disable it here, yeah, just the broadcast radio. And then you've got a channel, how you want to display. You can have name plus channel number or frequency and channel number. As you can see, you've got the name there and the channel numbers here. So if I change the bottom one here, nope, no one change the bottom one. I change it to frequency and number. So we've written all this, got all this bits and bobs set up. Let's just write it. Here we go. Here we go, it's programming, the light on the top's flashing. I don't know if you can see it. It's flashing red now. <clears throat> Green for read, red to write. And that seems a lot quicker writing to the radio. Huh. Okay. Anyway, the radio is restarting. And we have, there we go. So the top one, as you remember, we set it to name and frequency. And the B channel, we set it to frequency and number. So you can see it's name, channel one, this is channel one, and that's the frequency it's running on. Okay. Um, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, what else have we got? The general settings, yeah, then you've got the phone <laughs> phone system when it's talking about uh, DTMF codes. So I suppose, yeah, maybe in a way. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to do a real world, oh, re ugh, real world audio test. Now I'm going to be using my uh, here it comes, my Baofang, I don't know if you can see that, BF18H, I'll put onto the same channel. I love the sound, I love the voice on this, listen to this, when I turn on the Baofang. Channel mode. <laughs> um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave this room, I'm going to go into the other room, and I am just going to do a broadcast test. And then I'll do vice versa. So just give me a moment and I'll come back. This is Victor Alpha 7 Charlie Oscar India doing a radio check on Simplex. If anybody's using this frequency, I do apologize, it will not be long. Okay, I'm back. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to swap these around. So let's get the audio up on this. And I'll be back in a moment. Alpha 7 Charlie Oscar India doing a radio check, radio check. This is transmitting from the UV21 Pro, which is not really a Pro, is actually UV21R. Testing, testing, if anybody's on this frequency, I do apologize, I'll be off shortly. Right, so there you go. That's the audio. Let's turn that off. Turn this one off. Now then, as I'm not going to be messing around with the uh, the audio settings uh, when I do the editing, I will say good night and um, yeah, have a good evening. <laughs>